they weren't kidding when they said there was going to be a 90-foot stage. And I really feel the need to tumble right now. You're like, please, no, no. Don't let these half a calf muscles fool you. When I watched that clip of this actor on the vault, it made me think of my two world championships where I was at the end of the vault runway, extremely nervous, overtaken with the pressure, and actually choked. That was very painful. When I fell and I embarrassed myself in 1996 in front of 50,000 people in the Georgia Dome, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when I fell and I finished the routine and I ended up on vault and I ended up not in third place but in 19th place. But I will say I learned so much more about myself, about my character, and about life through that painful experience. Three-time Olympic gymnast Dominique Dawes knows what it's like to be in the spotlight. She helped the U.S. win its first gold medal. This is part of the 1996 U.S. team in Atlanta, nicknamed the Magnificent Seven. There's amazing memories that I kind of relive every now and then, especially during the time of the Summer Olympic Games. And I would say one that comes to mind is right before marching out during those Olympic Games, I had a little bit of a breakdown. I was overwhelmed. I was dealing with a lot of self-doubt, anxiety, fear, and a great deal of pressure. And I knew when I hit the, uh, the grounds in Sydney, Australia, that it was time for me to retire and to move away from the sport of gymnastics and see what else the world maybe had in store for me. The reason why I started the Dominic Dawes Gymnastics and Ninja Academy here in Clarksburg, Maryland, is the reason of these little <laughs> okay, ones walking okay. over. Every single kid that's a part of my program, it is about ensuring them that they recognize that they are more than enough. When you're a part of a team, it's easy to look at things like a totem pole perspective where I'm up top, I give more, but you know what? Every single individual part of that team matters. And you need to appreciate and respect what every single person brings to the table. People would love to be in your shoes in some aspects of what I've done in life. You might be great one day, but trust me, there's reality. There's gonna be tomorrow and you're not, you're gonna fall short, it's just life. Someone is, going to come from a healthier family or someone's going to be leaner, or longer hair or something. And if you compare yourself to others, you will fail as well. And so it's all about instilling in these young people, boys and girls, just focus on being the best that you can be um, each and every day and not trying to be the next anybody. Vayner Speakers.